Hello YouTube, this is Agent Game 35. Today I will be showing you how to install MAME, the arcade emulator, on Mac OS 10.7 or later. That's Mac OS 10 Lion or later. I'm running Mountain Lion right now. I'm making this video because when I tried to install MAME, I couldn't figure out how for a while, and I thought it was impossible because they have an official Mac MAME uh, version for Mac, but that's a PowerPC application. And I think there's also like a MAME OS 10 for Mac, but that's also PowerPC, I think. So, uh, after Snow Leopard, Macs don't run PowerPC apps, so I had to find this other way. It's worth mentioning that all the information from this video comes from one article I found that taught me how to do this, which was very helpful. I'll post a link to it in the description. By the way, this works on other Intel Macs, but this is like the only way I'm pretty sure to install it on Mac OS 10 Lion or Mountain Lion. So first thing you want to do is uh, install the SDL framework. Simple Direct Media Layer, that's what SDL stands for. I think it's under SDL 1.2, that's the latest version. Here's Mac OS 10. You'll want to install this one. The version of MAME we're installing is called SDL MAME. it runs on this framework so you wanna open this device here uh... here it is <coughs> it has a special SDL logo in the background the only folder that will matter to you probably is this one SDL framework <coughs> that's the main folder you're installing so now uh... go to command shift G to go to a folder you wanna go to li slash library slash frameworks here the frameworks folder in the library folder and uh, make sh slash system slash library slash frameworks I think also works but don't go to uh, frameworks from your library and then frameworks from your user folder because that's a totally different folder than this one <coughs> so here we are just drag this SDL dot framework into here uh, authenticate it like to modify it You'll have to type in your administrator password. Oops, wrong password. Alright, now you have installed the SDL framework. Now we'll have to install SDL MAME. I think this is what I use. Yeah, this is where I installed it originally. So, go here, I'll post a link to it on the description, because I think some downloads uh, have uncompiled versions, and you'll have to like get Xcode and compile it into a Cocoa app or something for Mac, so this is way easier <coughs> to use. Uh, there's a 64-bit download and a 32-bit download for SDL main. The other ones are mess, and a PPC one. I don't even know what that is. Actually, that's an older version. But yeah, uh... 32-bit is for 32-bit processor max. 64-bit is for max with 64-bit processors. Go to about this Mac, and then I'll have your processor here. Mine's Intel Core i7 as of this video. Like, when I'm filming this, that is the most powerful Mac processor, I think, in iMacs, like regular iMacs. I'm pretty sure if yours says Intel Core Solo, or Intel Core Duo, then you have 32-bit. Every other type of processor is a uh, 64-bit. Also, for earlier versions of Mac, I think you have to go to like more info and then hardware or something and then processor. I think I forgot, but yeah. So you can download this here. I'm just gonna wait. Uh, until this is finished installing, I mean downloading. So, uh, <coughs> yeah. Okay, it's 50% done. Ten seconds. 
And it's done. Well, no, it's not done. Now it's done. Expanding. There you go. It should look like this. MAME 0148. That's the version. Dash 64 bit. Open this up, and it looks like this. There's a what's new thing saying what's new in the version and stuff to like artwork for the application and everything then this command line application here so you want to move this to somewhere where you'd like to keep it such as documents so here it is I recommend name uh, naming it to some renaming the folder to something easier to remember like mame so there it's called mame now the reason why I say that is because this is a command line application. You'll have to run it through the command line and enter commands in order to open it. And the command line in Mac is called Terminal. Go to Applications, Utilities. Uh, where's Utilities? There. And Terminal. It'll look something like this. So, uh,. I'll have to tell you some terminal commands so in order for you to run this. So if you type in CD then that stands for change directory change directory. Press space and then you can change the directory to whatever you want, so like uh mines in documents and it's called MAME. I wanna change it to this directory. So uh I want to do this curly thing there. That means users, because the documents folder is from users. So no matter what your user is called, then uh, that squiggly line works for it. Then documents slash mame. That's why I named it. So the reason why you want to name it something easier is because you'd have to type in like mame 0148-64 bit every time you want to go there. Now that we're in the mame folder, as you can see in mame, Everything uh, is a folder, like another folder there, except for uh, this text file about what's new, and MAME64. That is the app you'll want to run. And if you to run a command line app in Mac, you type in dot slash and then the command line application. And so this is called MAME64. Press enter. It will run it. There we go. It should look like this. No games found. Please check the ROM path specified. Please see the config.txt file. A lot of this isn't there because this isn't the regular Windows version of MAME. This is changed to work with Mac on the SDL framework, but not everything's included as with the Windows version. So, uh, of course, you'll need ROMs in order to play the games. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how to download the ROMs because it's illegal and telling you how is even more illegal but you can just use Google to figure it out. Uh, I already have MAME so I'll use the folder I have here and uh, copy uh, Donkey Kong here. That's my Donkey Kong ROM. And uh, I'll put it in the main folder that I have here. You'll have to create a folder called ROMs because, no, not ROS, ROMs. Uh, there. Because MAME automatically looks for a folder located in its same directory called ROMs. So you'll keep your ROMs there. Put my Donkey Kong copy in here. And I'll show you how it works. This should work fine change the directory back to mame dot slash mame 64 I'm guessing if you're using 32 bit it'll be like mame 32 or something <clears throat> I'm guessing 32 bit works for a uh, 64 bit max maybe 64 bit works for 32 bit max too but it's probably slower <clears throat> here it is uh, here is uh, the Donkey Kong ROM. You uh, select stuff with up and down, like change what you're doing, and then enter. 
Usage of emulators is in, in conjunction with ROMs you don't own, forbidden by copyright law, blah blah blah. Confirm that you own this ROM when you probably don't own the ROM you're using. But here it is. Here's Donkey Kong exactly as it is played in the, <coughs> the actual arcade machine. And uh, you can press tab during a game to go to the options, up and down and enter again. <coughs> like you can change the input for this game. Uh, like I like to use X for P1 button 1, that's the circle button on the arcade machine. So I would press enter to change it, press X and then just wait for it to pop up. There you go. Return to prior menu, return to game. So uh, coin will automatically be set to... Uh, five I think like insert coin because it's exactly like the actual game so they even have an insert coin button it's fun inserting a bunch of coins because you have like infinite money which you don't have in arcades but yeah should be an exact copy of the actual game unless someone like hacks the ROM you're using or something which can happen And you can also connect joysticks, I think, like if you open a ROM, if, if you open MAME while there's a joystick plugged in to USB, you can use it. Like I have an NES uh, USB port, and I've used my NES controller to play games with MAME, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I died. Anyway, this game is not about me, I mean this video is not about me playing Donkey Kong, it's about showing you how MAME works on uh, Mac. Oh, was 10 lion or later, and I think I've done that, so I might as well end this video. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please leave a comment or rate and subscribe and things, and if you have any video requests, leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.